When I was maybe 10 or 11, I actually found a bicycle. I'm a little nervous to figure out how this bicycle ended up in this spot now that I reflect on this. But it was lying in a river covered in dirt and like branches and whatever. So I took this bike and dismantled the whole thing and didn't have the money to buy spare parts. So basically I had to get all of the parts working, clean all the rust off and got it into working order. And also I was super proud of it because it was a thing that I had basically built. I had one electric guitar and I wanted to make it better and I took it apart and resoldered it and it never worked again. So it wasn't always successful, but that failure also taught me a lot, right? Engineers come across often as extremely negative or pessimistic, but for many of us, it's because we believe we could do better. We yeah. believe that there's an opportunity to make something better. And that's actually very positive to look at the world and say, this could be better and this could be better. And I have a plan. Yeah. Or maybe I don't have a plan yet, but I have some ideas. And wouldn't it be fun to go explore those ideas and see if we could make them work and see if we could get something out of that? Yeah. Like to me, that's a very positive way to look at the world. That sort of pursuit, right? When you believe that you can always push and be better, that there's always room for improvement, that's when you actually really start to excel and get better. If you put a false limit on that, then you're kind of done. That belief, like, I can always do a little bit. Those are the people that are really great, are the people that always believe they could be doing better.